With a dry start to the summer, mosquito populations have been suppressed, with the Columbus Health Department reporting normal levels in population. With rain in the forecast, more breeding grounds will be available for them. Mosquitoes can carry harmful diseases like malaria and the West Nile virus. While the chance of someone being infected is small, it's still important to be on guard. With the most recent discovery of an infected mosquito in Licking County, we talked to Columbus Public Health Department on what they're doing to combat mosquitoes. Main things we do is called larviciding. So we send uh, crew members out throughout the community to areas that we know that have historically bred mosquitoes, so standing water sites, and they go out and they check those to see if they are breeding. And if they are, they will treat it. While Columbus Public Health Department is doing their part in testing and exterminating mosquitoes, you can also help in mitigating the mosquito population at home. We make sure that if we're going to be outside for a prolonged period of time. And I, and I got a bug bite on my she thumb. She does have a bug bite on her thumb because that day we didn't put bug repellent on. Number one way to prevent mosquito population is remove standing water. Um, that could even be like the saucers at the bottom of flower pots, old tires, uh, kids' toys that have sat out. Whether you're hiking or going on vacation, if you want to protect you and your loved ones from mosquito bites, the CDC suggests that you wear insect repellent, wear loose-fitted clothing, long shirts, long pants, and if you're taking a stroller with your young child, make sure to cover it with the mosquito netting. Reporting in Columbus, I'm meteorologist Sarah Converse. Back to you.